Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 10th of January. India's PM Modi pitches growth, resilience to woo investors at vibrant Gujarat summit. Maldives President Muiz urges China to send more tourists after major backlash from Indians. And 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed, serving 78-year jail term in Pakistan, says UN. And now for all the details. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday made a strong pitch to woo global investors to the world's fastest growing large economy, saying there are new opportunities across sectors and regions for mutual prosperity. His pitch at the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit comes months before he seeks a third term in national elections, in which the economy is a central issue and also as global businesses look at India to diversify supply chains beyond China. PM Modi said the world looks at India as a powerhouse for talented youth and a democracy that delivers. He said India's economy has shown momentum and resilience despite geopolitical troubles and invited investors to be a part of its growth journey. The world looks at India as an important pillar of stability, a friend who can be trusted, a partner who believes in people-centric development, a voice that believes in global good, a voice of the global south, an engine of growth, in the global economy, a technology hub for finding solutions, a powerhouse of talented youth, and a democracy that delivers. The three-day biennial summit has drawn thousands of business leaders, investors and diplomats. On Wednesday, the Maruti Suzuki and the Adani Group unveiled investment plans worth nearly $30 billion combined. Amid India-Maldives dispute, the president of Maldives, Mohammad Muizu, has requested China to send more tourists to his country and also call the Asian giant as the island nation's closest ally. Reports have suggested. This comes amid a significant number of cancellation of reservation by Indian tourists in the wake of the ongoing diplomatic tiff. Muizo, who is on a five-day visit to China, praised BRI projects initiated by Chinese President Xi Jinping, saying that they have brought about the most significant infrastructure developments in Moldavian history. Regarded as pro-China, Muizo became president in November after winning on his India Out campaign platform under which he called New Delhi's huge influence a threat to sovereignty. The United Nations in its latest report has informed that Hafiz Saeed, the mastermind of 2611 Mumbai terror attacks, is in the custody of Pakistan serving a 78-year imprisonment as a result of the conviction in seven terror financing cases. In December, India asked Pakistan to extradite Saeed as he is wanted by Indian probe agencies in a number of terror cases. Saeed is a UN proscribed terrorist and the founder of terror outfit Lashkar Taiba. India blames Pakistan continues to foster terror and infiltrates terrorists across the border into India's Jammu and Kashmir. While the cross-border infiltration have decreased since 2019 when India abrogated the special status of Jammu and Kashmir, dozens of terrorist training camps continue to remain active in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Residents of POK, especially traders, have intensified their protests against the issue of load shading in the region. They have decided to boycott paying bills until their grievances are addressed. A report. People in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have intensified protests against daily load shedding of around 18 to 20 hours amid peak winter season, while they are being forced to pay inflated power bills. 
A large number of traders have called for a boycott of bill payments over the issue and have set up protest camps in different areas. They lament despite being producer of a large amounts of electricity. Residents of POK are facing such hardships. इस वक्त मुजफ्फराबाद में ये सूरत हाल है कि कहीं भी बिजली नहीं है हुकूमत ओछे अथकनों पे उतर आई हुई है मुकम्मल लोड शेडिंग है हर तरफ 12 12 14 14 घंटे आता के जो दे इलाके मारे वहां पे 20 घंटे की लोड शेडिंग हो रही है عوام نے بجلی بلا کے بائیکاٹ کیا ہوا ہے ٹیرف کا مسئلہ ہے جس کی وجہ سے عوام اس ٹیرف کو قبول نہیں کر رہے ہیں ان دی پاسٹ فیو منتھس ملٹیپل شٹ ڈاؤن اسٹرائکس ہیو بین ابزرورڈ اینڈ ایکٹیوسٹس آلسو تھرو الیکٹریسٹی بلز انٹو واٹر باڈیز ٹو ایکسپریس دیئر اینگر بٹ آل ان وین ا ٹریڈر لیمنٹڈ دیٹ ٹو پٹ این اینڈ ٹو دیئر پروٹیسٹس دی ایڈمنسٹریشن ہیز ناؤ اسٹارٹڈ این انکم ٹیکس سروے کہ میں وزیراعظم صاحب کو مخاطب کرتے ہوئے کہوں گا کہ یہ جو معاملہ آپ نے سروے کا سٹارٹ کیا یہ چھہتر سالوں میں اس سے پہلے نہیں ہوا آپ کو آج ہی یہ بات یاد آ گئی جس وقت تحریک میں خاص طور پہ میں ٹریڈرز کی بات کروں گا کہ تاجران کا ایک بہت بڑا کردار ہے اس کے اندر تو جب آپ نے دیکھا کہ تاجران اکٹھے ہیں پوری آزاد کمی کے تاجران میں بریج بلیوں کا بائیکارٹ کیا ہوا اور یہ جوگ در جوگ باہر نکلتے اپنے حقوق کی خاطر تو آپ نے اچانک یہ سروے سٹارٹ کر دیا آپ یہ تاثر دے رہے ہیں تاجروں کو ڈرا دھمکایا جا رہا ہے کہ جناب اگر دیکھیں آپ یہ تحریک کے اندر رہیں گے تو آپ پہ ٹیکس لگے گا ہم نے ٹیکس دینے سے انکار نہیں کیا ہم نے آپ کے طریقہ کار سے انکار کیا کہ The United Nations OCHA, Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, in its latest report on Tuesday said that of the 23.7 million Afghan people in need of life-saving assistance, humanitarian partners have prioritized 17.3 million people to receive well-coordinated multi-sectoral assistance in 2024. For this, they require about 3.06 billion US dollars. The report states that Afghanistan continues to reel from decades of war and grapples with climate-induced crisis, entrenched poverty and barriers to women's participation in public life. Nearly half of all Afghans live in poverty, the OCH is said, adding that despite low-level economic stabilization in 2023, 65% of families still experience an economic shock. Some pregnant Hindu women in India are hankering to deliver their babies on 22nd of January, which coincides with the date of consecration of the Grand Temple of Hindu God, Lord Ram, in Ayodhya. Doctors at a hospital in Lucknow said they have been getting requests from women who can have elective deliveries to get their babies delivered on January 22nd. <laughs> उत्साह भी है और उत्सुक हैं लोग कि उस पूर्ण समय में जो हमारा नक्षत्र और सही वो है उसी में डिलीवरी करवाने के लिए लोग बड़े उत्सुक हैं। Lord Ram is the seventh incarnation of Hindu god Vishnu and the central character of age-old epic Ramayan. Hindus consider him as Maryada Purushottam, which means man of honor or the best among the dignified. मेरी भी यही इच्छा होगी कि बाईस तारीख की डेट पे हो जाए ताकि इस अवसर पर सब लोग कहा जाए कि राम जी के जैसे अवतार हुआ है और जैसे उनका वैसे हमारे घर में भी ऐसे बच्चा आए तो सब लोग उनके लिए भी यही सम्मान किया है कि हाँ भगवान राम जी के जन्म किस स्थल के यानी जिस तारीख को जन्मभूमि हुई है उनकी उसी तारीख को मेरे बच्चे का भी जन्म हुआ Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.